title today is Higher Ed, the number one solution to simplify your admin processes now. So I did also open up the webinar for anyone outside of higher ed. So you can, you know, get the opportunity to hear from a real Docuer customer and also see it in action. So, you know, no matter if you're from higher ed or another um, industry, thank you again so much for joining us today. My name is Nicole Schmeida. I am the Senior Marketing Specialist here at DocuWare, and I have a few poll questions for you, and I'll also be moderating the Q&A chat at the end of the session. We have Alex Saladay, Senior Sales Director at DocuWare, who will introduce DocuWare to you and actually give you a live demo of it. And then we have a very special guest speaker today, Sabi Warat. She's the Chief Information Officer and Dean of Technology at Clackamas Community College. So. Um, you'll hear, hear from him as well during the session. We are scheduled to 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, so again, thank you so much for taking the time today. So here's the outline for today. Um, as I mentioned, Alex will introduce you to DocuWare and go over how is it solving your higher ed challenges? What are the, the features and benefits that you can start enjoying today? Um, and then I'll go into a chat with Sabi and Alex will go into a live demo. And then again, any questions that you've put in throughout the session, we'll definitely get to them. And before uh, I give it to Alex, I do have a question for you all on the line now, poll question to kind of get you thinking about, you know, how are you managing your documents and what is driving your processes now? So I'm actually going to launch that poll I'm on my other screen over here. So you should see it pop up on your screen now. So take a second to um, go to your head to the head to your screen and select one of the options. So are you still using paper document storage and manual processes? Or maybe you have some sort of file share, but the processes are still driven manually. So you know you still have to remind yourself, oh, I have to email this person, I have to check on that, why didn't I hear from them? What's the status of this? Or maybe you're already up to speed. You maybe you have already a centralized document solution with automated workflows, and you're just here kind of checking out what Docker has to offer, or feel free to type in your own answer in the question box. So I'm just gonna wait till I get a good amount um, of votes on the line before I share the results. Looks like some votes are coming in here. All right, thank you all for voting. I'm actually gonna close the poll now and share it so you can actually see you know, who else is on the line, what are they working with? So it looks like the majority of everyone does have some file documents uh, storage, but processes are still manual. Like you, there's still time you could be saving. There's, there's a better way, right? There has to be a better way. So we're glad that you found us, that you're on the line and you're taking that next first step. Um, and then the other uh, half of you, you know, um, you're still using paper document storage. So this is a great first step, you know, a great entryway into digitization. And then some of you, you know, are using centralized document management, um, but, you know, checking out what, what features Docuware has to build onto that. So that's great. And I just want to um, end with this quote here that I thought was pretty cool. So this is from a recent um, article from EDUCAUSE on the top 10 IT issues facing higher education. But again, we could expand this out to any company, you know, in 2022. So they're talking about the importance of digital transformation and with that the ultimate aim is an institution with a technology enabled sustainable business model that has redefined the campus organization operates efficiently and anticipates and addresses major new risks so the idea is that we need technology in place that enables us to be proactive and not reactive, to be future-proof, to be ready for you know anything uh, that gets thrown our way, so that we can uh, outlast you know that and competition. So with that, I am going to pass it to Alex. Great, thanks, Nicole. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. To make this thing go away. It's not letting me make that go away. There we go. Cool. All right. So um, this is an additional poll from Educause of senior IT leaders for higher education institutions. And you know, one of the main takeaways was, you know, what are the main challenges and needs that they're currently facing or that they feel like they're going to be facing in the next, you know, in the next period? 
Uh, these four we pulled out directly because they specifically speak to what DocuWare is capable of helping your organization with. So, you know, eliminating information silos. DocuWare is really based as a central pool for documents and information that can be shared across departments, across organizations, and even across the world. You know, working within budget constraints, you know, we're talking about increasing load and, you know, making things uh, if, you know, continually more efficient and continually trying to drive that, um, drive those costs down and, and work inside of those budgets. And DocuWare can really help you do that. You know, when we talk about hybrid workforce and enabling flexibility, you know, these are certainly themes that we've been talking about for a couple of years. Uh, you know, after the pandemic and, you know, even mid pandemic in some cases, we're really looking to empower organizations to be flexible with how they're how they're working with their staff and how they're allowing and empowering their users to get their jobs done. Um, you know, two years in, uh, I think a lot of people are starting to deal with some pandemic regrets, uh, you know, some purchases that they made at the beginning of the process and some stopgap measures that didn't end up being that stopgappy. Uh, so DocuWare is really a way that we can help you put permanent fixes to these solutions or to these problems and and really help you with these issues. So what is DocuWare? Uh, I mean, it's really at its very core, a simple place to store securely digital files. Um, so it's not necessarily a recruiting tool or a, you know, a registrar's tool or a fine FNA tool. It's really a place to store electronic records, describe those records with information, and then use that information to do stuff. And that stuff can be, you know, route things for approval inside of the organization, manage access controls to see who has records to those documents. Uh, it can drive things like retention and access policies, uh, and even just make it easy to find those documents in the future. Once your electronic documents are fully described inside of DocuWare, it's really easy to find them because you know all the words that you would use to, to look. Uh, but it doesn't stop there. Uh, we do have the ability to also work outside of your organization with electronic forms, integrations with uh, two e-signature providers, DocuSign and Validated ID, uh, as well as thousands of other applications through our iPaaS partners. Um, you know, we can talk more about that. If you have questions about it, please put it in the chat, but that's something new that we're very excited about that allows us to send data to, you know, basically any modern based application in the world. So broadly speaking, what we're talking about is not just one process, but we can start with one process. You know, what we really want you to do is look at where your biggest challenges are, um, either from this list or from your own list about how do documents live and move inside of your organization. And DocuWare can really help you fix those those challenges. But once you've already acquired it, you can continue to expand it utilizing the same uh, investment that you've already made. So it's really a, a win-win. You can solve problems today and into the future with a modern you know, kind of future-proof application. And with that, I will turn it back over to Nicole. All right, thank you, Sabi, again so much for joining us. Um, so now that we've kind of heard a little bit about, you know, you've seen a taste of DocuWare, um, wanted to bring a, you know, real DocuWare user in their line and hear from them, how is it working for them? What have they, you know, achieved? So just to kind of start out the conversation, I have a little uh, little nugget on the, the screen here for you. So, um, you know, Docker is able to help Clackamas seamlessly move from in-person to online teaching and work. And this is due to DocuWare's customizable forms you saw a preview of, the workflow automations and integrations, um, you know, with your other app, with other business applications to allow the teams to continue working where they need to be, whether, you know, that's um, at the school, in the office, and it's not only for admins, it's for the student experience as well. So it's about meeting the documents where, where your team is, where your students are, and just overall enhancing the work experience there. So, um, Sabi, thank you again so much for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about your role at Clackamas and just Clackamas in general, just so we can get to know you a little bit more? Absolutely. So uh, my full name is uh, Sarabjit Singh Varash, but I go by Sabi. It's like Wasabi, spicier version of Sabi. Uh, I'm the Chief Information Officer and a Chief Information Security Officer at Clackamas Community College. Uh, there are about 16 community colleges. I think we are the, either the third or the fourth largest community college in the uh, state of Oregon. 
uh, about you know range of about 20 to 24,000 students. We have three campuses across Oregon in the Clackamas County. We're about 500 full-time employees and another 500 uh, urgent faculty, uh, part-time faculty in there. So we have been using Dockerware in one way or another for the last 20 plus years. Perfect. All right, great. Thank you so much for that overview. Um, so let's kind of dive in a little bit about, let's start with your, you know, the beginning of your Dockerware story. How did Dockerware, the use of it come about and what, what departments um, or, you know, teams are using and taking advantage of it? Right. So, you know, we originally started with when we had, I joined Clackamas Community College about two years ago. So I'm going to paint the picture, you know, what was Dockerware when I joined. Uh, basically, we had an outdated version of Dockerware, which was no longer supported and was obsolete. And it was basically, you know, what we were doing was we, it was used for, uh, electronically saving those archived documents that you know saying okay we don't probably need these documents let's archive those and then um, there was a conversation around workflows so what we did was we upgraded to uh, version 7.1 and then uh, migrated to a new server on premise so we we started with discovery meetings with different departments who were using docker and see you know what are the, what are their main pain points and what are some of the things which we can do to reduce those pain points and enhance the functionality of document? So, uh, so f when we started talking about the workflows and how it, it's going to automate some of the work and be able, there's no more paper documents and they can see all those workflows and those documents online, that got many de departments excited, uh, saying, okay, you know, let's let's start working on and how those things going to work. And then uh, while we were in the transition, the pandemic happened, right? It was right at that time. And then in last, I, I will say about one and a half, two years, uh, many departments have been able to utilize the functionality of Dockerware for those uh, workflows, right? The finance has an application on that. I see, you know, different lists. Here. So in some departments are using it more and then slowly, the goal is gradually increase it across the campus and start looking at Dockerware and saying, oh, what are the other functionalities which we can start looking at? Great. So it sounds like, you know, you were using, it started as like that main use case of you have documents that you need to archive and just reduce, you know, paper storage. But because Dockerware is so, um, you know, flexible, you're able to expand outward um, and actually really get to the core needs of, you know, individual apartments and how it's best for them to use it. So it's, it's, a, it's a great solution that, you know, it's centralized, but can be expanded to different departments. Yeah, absolutely. And the big piece in there is, you know, ability for the students to submit those forms online. They don't have to come to the campus to submit those forms. And then all that paperwork, which was supposed to be done manually and then and then go through, you know, different departments to get signed. Everything is digitized right now and it's much more secure, right? So uh, just today we we found a student whose identity has been um, stolen. So they submitted an application through Dockerware and we were able to grab that application back and stop that so that it doesn't go move further. So rather than sc scrambling around and looking for those documents, uh, paper trail and everything, everything is digitized. So it, it reduces that so much pain point and so much, I will say, save so much time for our uh, users. Right, like you said, so it's not only the, you know, your team um, just kind of streamlining the tasks they have to do, but whether it's, you know, like you said, students or your customers, you're enhancing their experience because you're making it easier for them. Like, you know, you're streamlining down the number of places they need to go to send information to you. And that also increases the chance of you getting the information and like the um, in improving the accuracy of it as well. So, um, this screenshot here on the presentation is actually um, a student submission form that you actually use, Sabi, right? And it's yep. it was built in uh, Docuware, so it's a Docuware form, um, and it's connected to Docuware itself. So it's again, it's all tied to Docuware. Um, it's not going to be 
you know, you don't have to, you may have maybe some form of web forms now, but do you have to kind of manually pull that info and put it back in another solution or whatnot? So the idea here is to have everything streamlined and integrated to make things easier for your team. Absolutely. And, you know, this has been such a, a lifesaver, especially, you know, when everybody's going, everybody went remote, right, in that hybrid workforce. Uh, it, it gives uh, that ability for folks who, who are working from home and still have the ability to have access to those uh, forms and the, those workflows. Right, yes. So I was going to go to the next point, kind of, you know, you, you talked about how, how DocuWare is used, but let's talk about like those real like um, benefits. So just so you can see a quick uh, recap here, but you, you touched upon like because DocuWare is digital, and it can be securely accessed from any location. So whether they're in their office that day or at home, or you know, maybe they're working with the students somewhere in a lab, you know, they can they can be they can be working, keeping work moving forward. Um, and then of course streamlining processes for both them and the students, um, you know, protecting your documents, meeting compliance. You don't have to like be worrying late at night, like, oh, are the documents secure? Or I have to make sure I have to check, you know, pull a report and check document dates. Like that can be done through DocuWare, through automated um, retention scheduling. And then, you know, overall just reducing paper alliance. There comes, you know, a, a burden when you have so much paper around you yeah. and just that that physical, you know, freedom of just letting go of of paper, you know, one one step at a time. So yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, else? yeah, yeah. The, you know, one small piece in there is safe shredding, right? So, so many papers, so you have to shred those. So we have, we don't use those services that much anymore, right? So those are small eventual costs, and the and the gain in productivity is amazing. So not only security, but gain in productivity, and gives those end users, our customers, they are happy, right? They don't have to go through this painful process of paper processing. It's much much more digitized. Right, yeah, you touched on a good point too. Just like um, those little costs too, they add up. So no more like shredding, printing, paying like an offsite storage, and then just uh, mailing costs. Maybe you're mailing stuff still yeah. um, through different like campuses. But no, this is you know one centralized spot that can be set up, but also integrated with your other applications because the idea is you want that you know consistent um, IT landscape. So um, yeah, thank you, Sabi. Thanks for um, you know speaking to your your guys' DocuWare use and just for audience on the line, maybe they're just you know still looking at DocuWare or this is like the first time they've ever seen it. Um, you know, any any comments uh, for them? You know, why DocuWare? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, first of all, you want to make sure that you uh, the retention is such a huge piece, right? Folks are resigning so you want to give that good experience to them so if you rather than you know having them go through the painful process of dealing with paper if you're digitization that that's going to be a, that's going to be a key uh, win for you and i will say start start small right pick up one or two departments uh, try to digitize one or two uh, forms and create one workflow and see if, how's that working along right the big piece in any kind of digital transformation here uh, it's not about the technology, right? It's, it is about technology, but it's also about people processes in there. So how are you training your end users, right? So the partnership with DocuWare and the third party has been amazing, uh, to, which helped us in transitioning to this. So training plays a huge role in there, uh, in that. So having strong partnership with DocuWare, having a strong par par uh, partnership with the third party integrator who's gonna help you implement this, I think that that will go a long ways. Great, yeah. So just uh, for kind of what I got from what you were saying is, well, we, you know, we are talking about a solution here, but you know, people are the ones that are using the solution day yeah. in and day out. So, um, you know, we need to make sure that it's user friendly. It's something that they're gonna want to use too. Like we can, you know, it will help their problems, but just making sure it's user friendly. And um, you mentioned uh, partnering with DocuWare. So again. Um, you may have been invited by your DocuWare partner. You definitely reach out to them and they'll get you started. So, you know, DocuWare and um, your Docker partner are here to help. So just to recap, um, kind of like what we discussed. So just for 
um, you know, Clackamas's use, they were able to set up to secure document submission and hybrid working easily. So that's the goal, right? Not to wait until next year. It's what's what's a fast implementation, user and budget friendly solution that you can start with now. Um, and then the digital storage and workflows keep work moving along. We don't want to interrupt what you're doing. We want to seamlessly, you know, uh, integrate with your other applications to enhance that, you know, that productivity. And then of course, security, just for peace of mind, you know, that's always gonna be um, an important uh, feature with any technology you choose. Yeah. So again, um, thank you, Sabi. Thanks so much for, you know, chatting with us. We really appreciate it. Um, you'll stick around for uh, the Q&A at the end and sure. we'll see what, any, what other questions anyone has for you. Sure, no, thank you for that. I will see you back later. All right, thank you so much. Um, and with that now, uh, I do have some other quotes here. What are other colleges saying? Just to kind of give you a little, you know, a little 360 view here. So, you know, on the left, you can see Roberts Wesleyan College. Um, they had a goal of increasing enrollment and Docu helped them meet that goal. So their workflows are simple now. They speed up their admissions processing time and just everything's simplified for their students. Like I said, you simplify it for, your students, your customers, the higher chance that you'll get that info that you need back from them to get things going. And then on the right, I like this quote from Tompkins Cortland Community College. They just said, Docure just changed the way we work. So they're not in and out of file rooms or signing things in and out. Uh, they can just look up information on the fly while they're on the phone. Um, and it's just, you know, changed how just their overall work life. Um, so I like those quotes and there's uh, case studies in your handout section you can download. Um, I just wanna check in to see if there's any questions here before I pass it off to Alex. Um, not any question, we do have a comment. Someone says that they're getting ready to um, get into workflows and signatures. So that's exciting. Um, you know, that's something definitely DocuWare can offer um, you guys. So. Uh, stay put right now. I'm actually going to pass it back over to Alex. So I just have this little dun -dun -dun curtain reveal. Uh, we're going to show DocuWare in action now. So Alex, passing it over to you. Uh, that's funny. Thanks, Nicole. I guess I should have uh, gone through all of the transitions on the slides before, or I wouldn't have been surprised by that. So thank you. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, okay, great. So just a screen check, Nicole, you can see my screen. Perfect. Okay. So everybody, I just wanted to, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through a real quick demo. This isn't going to take too long. We just wanted to kind of give you an overview of broadly what does DocuWare look like and how do all the pieces sort of fit together. The demo we're going to show today is going to do a real quick introduction of just some of the pieces of what the, the parts of DocuWare look like. Uh, we're going to talk about how we can store documents and that's going to, and then we're going to talk about utilizing machine learning and some of the other advanced tools that DocuWare can use to help you automate and improve the accuracy of how we're describing these documents electronically. Then we're gonna talk about uh, a form submission, similar to the Clackamas, um, very similar to the Clackamas form process where you know external users or students can submit documents for review internally to the college. Uh, and then that's gonna talk about, that'll lead into an approvals process. So. You know, we're going to have a document that was electronically generated, stored in the DocuWare, indexed by the student, and then it's going to be routed to a, for approval by the appropriate party inside of the college. And then that can, you know, that's going to lead to some other conversations, and then then that'll wrap us up, and we'll talk to uh, your questions and answers. Uh, but this is DocuWare, so it's a very simple user interface. The version that I'm using here is the cloud-based version, but the on-premise version is basically identical. Uh, really, the only difference is in how it's licensed and, you know, obviously where the data is stored. But from an, a user's perspective, it, it looks basically exactly the same. Uh, some of the tools are uh, accomplished slightly differently, but basically the, the user interface is identical. On the right side of the screen here, we have the document viewer. If I double click on this PDF here, it'll bring it up in the document viewer and you can see that I can, you know, read information off of that. You know, we have some annotation tools and some other tools. So if I wanted to, you know, hide some of this information, or if I wanted to make notes on it, I have the ability to do that with these tools. The annotations are written on an annotative layer. So if I hide that layer, you'll see that the annotations disappear and I can make them reappear. 
we can control who has access to click that button, just like we can control who has access to click literally any other button inside of the application. DocuWare security controls are extremely, extremely granular, which allows us to then you know, tie that to roles and, and really give you a, a complete control over who has access to do what inside of the system. I also can make these changes permanent by burning them through. So this will merge the layers and make a new PDF and the information underneath this square will be removed because it'll be replaced by just that blue square. Um, if you have any other questions about that, we can certainly talk about it. But for the most part, that's um, that's the DocuWare viewer. The viewer can view hundreds of file formats natively, not just PDFs. Uh, we're mostly going to be talking about image files and JPEGs today, and and PDFs and things like that. But you know, basically anything that's an, uh, a document format. So even things like you know AutoCAD drawings or any kind of Office documents or even non-standard Office documents uh, can be rendered faithfully inside of the DocuWare viewer, regardless of whether you have that program installed on your computer. On the left side, we have all of the document navigation. So we have what we call our document trays, and then we have our permitted archive, tasks, folders, and then links to all of our forms. Um, we'll go through each of those a little more slowly, but I just wanted to kind of give you the overview. A document tray is, you know, it's kind of like the inbox on your desk. It's unstructured storage. It's the place that some documents come in to get ready to be stored into the permitted archive. You know, I can scan documents into the system using a network scanner or a USB scanner. I can use my iPhone as a scanner, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. Uh, I can capture incoming email. I can capture a print job from a program. Um, and in many cases, it'll end up here in the document tray. I can also do things like I can drag and drop. So if I take you know, this letter, I can drag it directly into the system, but I can also then manipulate that document. So I could take these two PDFs and staple them together and make a new PDF. I can rearrange the pages, I can you know, rotate and, and prepare them, but really the goal is to get it ready to store into the permanent archive. And for DocuWare, the permanent archive is called a filing cabinet. You can have one or many filing cabinets, and it's really just a collection of documents that are uh, you know, described using similar language. So you know, as a simple demo, uh, this would be some of the words that we would use to describe documents that are gonna be stored inside of a, uh, you know, a student records filing cabinet. But we could also have a finance filing cabinet and an HR cabinet and a recruiting cabinet. And each of them would contain records, but they would be described using different words. Like you wouldn't have a student ID for an HR filing cabinet because they are probably not students, they're staff or faculty. Um, so then that kind of often lead to the question, how do I fill in all these little boxes with stuff? Does that mean I have to type all those values in uh, when you when I store those documents? Well, I mean, obviously you can if you want but we don't generally recommend that as it doesn't lead to high user adoption. DocuWare has built a number of tools over the years that automate the process of filling in those little boxes when we're storing the documents to completely automate in many cases, and at least highly automate in most cases, um, the description of those documents with metadata. Uh, if you look in here, there's some kind of color coding things going on here, and you can maybe get an idea where this is going. DocuWare utilizes the text of the document, the full text of the record to identify the important information on that record that we want to know. Every time I store a document, the system learns a little more about the documents that we're storing. So if I take like these two, you know, a test score and a transcript, when I store it to the student records filing cabinet, and you can see there's a little, I'm pointing with my finger, you can't see that. There's a little light bulb there that shows that this is the enhanced store dialog. And basically what this says is, I know the information you want to store about this record. And so when I see it, I can store it. I didn't have to make a template for this ACT report. I didn't have to make a template for the high school transcript we're going to see in a second. DocuWare learned the information that was important to me by just clicking on the information. So if I kind of click in the first name here, you could see that it highlighted it on the document. How I train the system is just basically just by clicking the word. And then the next time it sees that, it knows that the information for related, to the, related to the student is here. Even if it's a little crooked scan, even if the student didn't do a good job of that, or obviously in this case, you wouldn't, it wouldn't be a paper scan, but that information is uh, resilient. So even if it's not exactly in the same place or if it's a little crooked, DocuWare is not rem remembering the specific place, it's remembering the context of the whole document and where that fits together. So when I store this document, I can now find it based on any of those values. And you can see the high school transcript here. You know, it read this information directly off of the document. I didn't have to remember 
I didn't have to make a template. I didn't have to click. I just hit store and that information is then available for me to search for later. If I go to search this filing cabinet, I could find all of the documents that are stored in here uh, just by hitting search. But I could also then utilize the information that is on the documents themselves and stored in the document. So I could say, you know, I only want to see, you know, high school transcripts. And then it would filter that out based on the high school transcripts. I could say, I only want to see high school transcripts where the student ID is this one. And then it'll find only this specific high school transcript. And then when I, you know, if I were to open it up, it would, it'll show me that document, right? This information is flexible. I can also export this and put it into other systems. You know, once that document is fully described, we can do a lot of stuff with that. So we could, you know, use one of our iPass providers or an export process that would allow you to, you know, publish some of this information or links to these documents into a student information system or into another product. Uh, DocuWare is all about using this data to leverage the largest gain. And that's kind of basically how searching and storing work and at a very high level. Um, but what about documents that we don't necessarily have? So we could, again, monitor an email folder, have students email us those documents, import them into the document tray, and utilize our machine learning tool, the Intelligent Indexing Service, to describe that document. But we could also just have the students do it. Uh, DocuWare also provides an electronic forms package. So if I click on the forms, I have a, access to all the forms that this student has access to, or that this user that I'm logged in has access to. If I double click on this, it brings up our um, our student information Dropbox. It clearly says that it's a demo. Um, but this is the kind of the same idea. So every, you know, without having to learn programming or any coding, it's just a drag and drop tool that allows me to describe information and say, this is what I want to capture. The students can attach a record and then accept an authorization and then submit the form. I can't click on the form because I haven't done those things yet and there's some required fields. Um, in addition to storing them this way, you know, one of the nice things about DocuWare is, is that it's browser-based, which means, and in many cases it's cloud hosted, which means that anybody can access this form anywhere. So whether this is this student submission form that we're talking about, or it's a, you know, a status change form, or it's a, you know, a request for a specific position or any other thing, DocuWare, can, you can submit these forms into the system and they can follow a specific process to the end and completion. I wanted to show what it can look like on a phone. Now, all, all of these forms are also mobile responsive. So I'm going to connect to my AirPlay server. There we go. There we go, there it is. Okay, so if I go to my website here, so you can see this is the same form. I'm at the same URL, and DocuWare is uh, mobile responsive, so it, it formatted this form to fit nicely onto a mobile layout. Um, one of the things that you'll notice here is, is that the student ID field is required, but the rest of it is not necessarily required. You know, if we're going to authenticate the user that's filling out this form, we also have the extra benefit of being able to look stuff up. So if I click on the student ID drop down here, you know, and I pick my student ID, when I go to the next page, you'll see that it automatically filled all this stuff out by looking up my information in a student information database. You know, we have the ability to do this any number of ways, and this information can happen when a form is submitted, when you're storing a document, we can, you know, hit a validation service and make sure that the information that the user entered makes sense in context. Uh, and prevent them from putting bad data into the system even before it starts. Uh, we can also do like multi-level validations after the document's been stored through our workflow designer. So I'll go ahead and say this is gonna go to the uh, registrar's office, and then I have to submit a document. Now, the nice thing about doing this on a phone is I can use my phone as a scanner. If I click on tap, rather than having to just be able to choose local files like I would on a computer, I can take a live picture or I'm going to use the video or my camera roll of something I've already stored, which is my driver's license. Uh, I'll add that. And so now that's been added to the system. I can accept the terms and then that allows me to submit the form. And notice that that's going to submit the document directly into DocuWare. It's fully indexed. It's going to skip the document tray and it's going to trigger some follow on activities for that user. It also resets and lets me immediately submit a new form, which is also nice. 
I will minimize that. Go back to DocuWare, where we now have a task. So this, you know, the use case here is somebody outside the organization or students inside the organization submitted this document to me for review. And it was, you know, we picked, I'm in the registrar's office, we'll say, and it sent it to me for departmental review. So that is DocuWare workflow in a nutshell. It is a collection of documents, right, that goes to a person based on the context of that information. So whether that's a request for transportation or a request for uh, a new desk to the procurement department, whatever that looks like, we can route it to the appropriate person based on the context of that information. And because it's not a procurement software or a student information system or a, you know, a student management system, it makes all of those things better. Uh, and so we can be extremely flexible to fit specifically the problem you're having rather than having to try to find a product that is made just for the way you want to do it. So we can be much more flexible. As the departmental review, so I'll look at this and you'll notice that, you know, I have a copy of the document that was stored. If I go here, I can see the uh, document that was attached. And, you know, so it's going to say, hey, I need that document number. I, I covered this because this is getting recorded, but I can click the D55 here. And even though this is a picture I just took with my phone, DocuWare's already extracted all the appropriate text on it. And you can see if I kind of hover over it, it's, it's trying to, it's found all the words all by itself. And then the document date we'll say is um, the date that I got it, which is over here, 6-6-22, just got a new driver's license. And you can see there's some intelligence here. So even if I had said like, you know, the document date is corrective lenses, it's gonna say corrective lenses is not a date, but 6-6 six, six is, so it knew what to do. Uh, at the same time, it submitted an email to me as the person that submitted the request saying, dear student, we've received your document submission and we'll be reviewing it. Uh, we'll receive confirmation or request within five business days. Have a good day, record staff. You know, this type of correspondence can happen to anyone, not just to DocuWare users. We can send emails and notifications and even attach the records to external correspondence, uh, which makes things like vendor management and vendor onboarding a lot easier. You, know, you can have that kind of back and forth. And then when you're ready with the contracts to be signed, DocuWare can initiate the DocuSign transaction and send it directly to the, to the vendor for signature. Once the signature's done, it comes right back into DocuWare and completes the workflow for review. So when I confirm this, we'll go ahead and it disappears because it's done now. My task is completed. I've done that review. I've completed filling out the information about that document and DocuWare stored it in the permitted archive. It was always there. I could just search for it. So if I go to the student records, and I do a document type of student submission form, and I do, you know, and here is the form that I just submitted. And you'll notice, you know, we also have a deletion date. So part of the context of that document is, well, what is the document type? What is the information that we know about that document type? What has council told us is the appropriate retention period for that type of document? And we specify a deletion date. But we can also handle complex deletions. So, you know, maybe this is a contract and the deletion date needs to get reset when we execute an amendment to it or when it renews. And so all of that information can be built into the context of our deletion policy and really allow us to manage that without you having to do it for yourself. Uh, and then everything that happens inside of a DocuWare workflow stays with that document forever. So if I go to the history, you can see that I accepted this at this time today. And they can even see that, you know, at this point, we set the deletion date based on some math. Um, we looked up the document type and all of those things happened in the background. So we can really automate a lot of those administrative tasks that currently users have to do for individual requests and things. Um, but that's a really quick overview of what DocuWare looks like and how the workflows can kind of help an organization. This is just one example. Again, DocuWare is extremely flexible. Anything related to documents or information moving around an organization is a perfect fit for a DocuWare workflow. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Nicole to moderate the Q&A. Thanks, thanks, Alex. Um, we do just have a few more um, slides I would just like to show you before we um, open it up oh. to that. Sorry, I got ahead so, of myself. Nope, oh, no problem. Just checking, uh, is my presentation showing? Yes. Perfect. So um, yeah, thank you again for that um, introductory demo. Um, so 
the idea here is to get you started, you know, quickly. Let's let's not have that month long, you know, months long implementation process. We want to get you up and running, you know, fairly quickly and for you as a user, but also for your IT team who will be implementing this and managing it for you. So we do have pre-configured solutions for, you know, different use cases. So smart document control is, you know, that main, you know, Docuware um, secure storage, or maybe you, you know right now, like, yes, I want to automate invoice processing. We have that ready for you to use employee management um, and e-signature and so on. So just, we do have these solutions. We we have, you know, thousands of implementations. So these solutions are here for you to use, get up and running quickly. Um, and, you know, we've shown you what DocuWare can do, but we're really proud of, you know, what are others saying about us? So we have a lot of, you know, um, security certifications and user review awards we've earned from user review sites like G2 Crowd, Captera, Garner Peer Insights. So there's testimonials on there from real, you know, DocuWare users, you know, you heard from Sabi today, but there's a lot, there's a lot more out there and I'll include links in the follow-up email you get later today so you can check them out and see for yourself. And I do have one last poll question that now that we heard, um, you know, a little bit about DocuWare, you kind of have a bit more information on it. I'm going to launch a poll now. So now that you've seen DocuWare, what, what are you excited for about? Um, go ahead and select as many as you like, um, whether it's secure document storage or um, streamlining processes, anywhere, anytime access, data security, or just feel free to leave a comment in the, uh, the question box. So go ahead and uh, turn to your screen and just take a second to select some options here. Just want to see where everyone's, you know, where we started and where we are now as we um, get closer to the end of the session. So I'm just going to wait another few seconds here. I see votes coming in. All right, looks like we got a good amount in here. I'm going to close it and share the results. So you can see, um, you know, a lot of people are, are really into streamlining the processes, automating tasks. You know, there's probably things you've just been doing a certain way just because you're just used to it. And it's just always the way it's been done. But sometimes it's good to take a moment like now, you know, during the session, really think about, is there a better way to do what we're doing? Do we really need to have this many steps? Um, so, yeah, and of course, you know, just that anywhere, anytime access is great as well especially with, um, you know, people working in the office or at home or a mix of both, you know, that's kind of like what we're at now. So i um, going to end the poll there. So as we end the webinar, just want to leave you with a question, like what's your next move? Um, you know, we don't want you to stay stuck using paper and just trudging along with what you've always done. You might be risking some compliance and security issues and just wasting valuable resources. We hope you take the next step. We want to continue the conversation with you so you can increase productivity, protect your documents, and just overall save time and money. Like, you know, who doesn't want to do that? So if you only remember one thing from today, you know, DocuWare is changing the game for colleges, universities, and, you know, for, from another industry, this can work for you too. It's all about just, you know, enhancing the experience for your um, customers, your students, and also just putting, you know, processes in place for your staff just so they, you know, they enjoy working too. They, they don't have to worry about little things that DocuWare could take, take over for them, right? So, um, here we are now at the q and I'd ask Alex and Sabi to come back on the line, but here's ways you can take the next step. You know, uh, your authorized Docker partner, you know, if they invite you to the webinar, definitely reply to their invitation or reach out to them directly, get started, schedule, um, you know, a demo with some features maybe you haven't seen yet. Uh, you could always go to docker.com slash demo or reach out to us anytime at contact.us at docuware.com and we'll put you in the right direction of where you need to go. So with that, um, I'll start out with some questions that have come in. Let me get them here. All right, uh, first question is, can Docuware, uh, does each student need a license to submit a document? So no, 
Uh, there's a couple ways that uh, each student does need a license, and it kind of depends on the way it's implemented, but there are many use cases that don't require that. DocuWare natively includes a feature called public forms that allows basically anybody that can reach that URL to submit a forms request at, without having to have a license. Um, and so whether that's in the cloud or on-premise, public forms are available for all DocuWare customers if they have the forms module for on-premise customers. Great. Um, next question uh, looks like it's for Sabi. So how how is the implementation process with DocuWare and you know who who is involved in that? Yeah, so uh, we used uh, a third party integrator or a DocuWare partner uh, called uh, Solutions Yes. And they were a great partner with us in getting this implemented. We had a PM assigned to do this work. So they, uh, the PM within the IT division worked with different departments to, you know, to look at their requirements and then work with uh, Solutions Yes as a partner to implement those. So it was pretty seamless. I I'm, I'm highly recommend them. Solutions Yes, they have been a great partner in implementing this. So uh, kudos to them to getting it done, especially during the, during the challenging pandemic times. And they continue to have those conversations uh, with our partners looking at, okay, what are the other enhancements? What, what are the other pain points we can help, help them with? Great. Um, do you know about, about how many um, users or maybe different departments that are currently using DocuWare? You know, I don't have the exact number in terms of users, but I will say about five to six different departments are using it. Some of our are using it more than any other departments, but uh, as we start investing more in document and start looking at uh, you know, further conversations with our customers, how, what are the other functionalities we can start implementing and what are the other pain points we can start solving for our problems? I see it's gonna, it's gonna be a more tool which will be used throughout the college uh, with other departments as well. All right, great, thank you. Um, let's see, next question is, um, someone asked, can DocuWare actually be used for time off requests? So maybe, you know, they're ready to head out of the office, you know, how, how can that work? And maybe even like, how, how does their work get, um, move forward while they're out of the office? Yeah, so DocuWare, I mean, that's a great example, right? So if DocuWare is really good at filling in the holes that other applications leave behind, so if your you know, student information system or your HRIS system doesn't have a good time off request and you're still using paper forms, DocuWare can replace those forms very easily and add a lot high level of automation to them. So we can look up who the appropriate person is to approve a specific request based on the person that requested the form. You know, we can manage email notifications, we can send reminders. Uh, and then for users that are already, that are DocuWare users, once they're out of the office, DocuWare workflows that would have been assigned to them can also be set to be assigned to other users inside their department based on, you know, uh, um, substitution lists, I think is what we call them. But basically, it's just a, who's the next person in line if I'm out of the office, you set it in one place, and then all of your uh, workflows get routed to the appropriate person for that workflow. Great. Yep, definitely. Um, next question for Sabi is, um, how easy it, how easy is it for your IT admins to set up and manage uh, when it comes to DocuWare? Right, so uh, there are two pieces in, in terms of IT support, right? One is the administrative focus, right? Uh, adding users, deleting users, managing, managing the application, that's one piece. The second piece is regarding creating those workflows. So what ITS is responsible for is the first part, right? The second part, regarding creating those workflows and working with different folks. We don't have the capacity to do it. So that's why we uh, we use the third party solutions, yes, as our partner in helping and developing those workflows, developing those forms and helping us delivering those services. Uh, in terms of easiness, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, you know, it's not, uh, I don't think uh, maybe an hour's basis, maybe one hour a week, maybe too much, you know, or maybe one hour every other week or so. So it's pretty, easy to manage uh, uh document great okay yeah so um you, you know regarding the docker partner so i mentioned on the screen you know you may have been invited by a docker partner definitely reach out to them because they 
they will help you um, along the way, especially in the beginning. If you just need that extra, you know, um, whether it's technical assistance or just, you know, morale to get you started, we do have Docker partners who are certified experts in um, getting you situated with the system and also in training you as well. So, you know, depending on how much resources and staff you have in place, the Docker partner um, and the Docker team are there for you to get you started. Um, next question, it looks like, you know, we're almost at the hour mark. There is just like a couple more questions here. Um, does Docuer, I think it kind of hits on what we just talked about. Um, how is the Docuer workflow training provided? Alex, maybe you want to touch on that? Yeah, there's a couple of different ways for users. Uh, obviously, your partner is a good resource for training, and that's generally part of a scope of work is if there are users that are around that would want to be trained, that we can train them. Docuer doesn't withhold anything from the users inside of the application. So, you know, your users can see the same things that our internal team and your partner's team can see. Uh, we also offer at what we call advanced end user training four or five times a year. Uh, currently it's on Teams, it, it has been in person in the past, which is basically just a three-day advanced user training for, you know, things like electronic forms and workflow, as well as, you know, how to manage security around document filing cabinets and things like that. Uh, additionally, we just completed a few weeks ago our annual-ish uh, user conference. You know, <laughs> we had a couple of years there where we didn't quite make it due to some other circumstances, but um, we, we generally have a, a user conference that provides breakout sessions for administrators as well as for business users on how to utilize Docuer workflow to improve their processes. Got it. Yep, definitely. So. Um... That looks like uh, we, we do have we don't have a question. It's more like a comment. It sounds like someone says um, sounds like they're a current Docuer user and that they're going to work towards automating their their invoice processing and e-signatures with workflows. So great. Um, that's great to hear. No matter if you're brand new or you're currently using Docuer and you're this is the idea, right? You start somewhere and you keep expanding um, as you as you need to and as works best for you. So um, looks like that's that's we're at the time here for all the questions that came in. If we didn't get to any specific question, um, definitely reach out to your Docker partner or email contact.us at docker.com and we'll get back to you. Um, look out later today for an email with the recording, the slides and the handouts. Um, Alex or Sabi, did you have any um, comments before we officially end today? I just want to say thanks to everybody for making time to have a, a, a couple, an hour or so with us. And Sabi, thanks for your help um, and, and spending some time coming on with us. No, absolutely. No, thank you for the opportunity to be here and uh, share our learnings. And hopefully, you know, if you, if you have any questions or if you want to dig a little bit more deeper as how Clackamas Community College is using it, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn or shoot me an email. Happy to connect. Cool. All right, everyone. Thank you so much again. Um, happy first day of summer uh, as well. And I hope everyone has you know, a great rest of your week. Look out for the email. Uh, we do host monthly webinar sessions. So um, probably next week, if you go to docuware.com or you'll get an invite from your partner, you know, there's, there's different features that we showcase. So whatever you want to check out, we'll be able to show it to you. Otherwise, let's continue talking. And all right, everyone, thank you again. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.